Well, it's the 19th of July 2024 and Trials of Osiris is back for the weekend, meaning once again you've got the chance to get some great weapons and arm from the weekly PvP event Destiny 2. Trials are around from Friday until reset on Tuesday, so you've got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content. Okay, let's check out the important information first, and that is the map and the adept loot for the weekend. For the map this weekend, we've got the Altar of Flame, and for the adept loot for the weekend, we've got an adept summoner. So good luck getting that loot. Well, Trials of Osiris is the pinnacle PvP activity in Destiny 2. Every weekend, the best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. First of all, head down to the Saint-14 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Loot is no longer acquired by winning 3, 5 and 7 matches, it is all about winning rounds, not matches, that helps you rank up the Saint 14 in the tower to get that Trials loot. So rank up to earn armour, weapons and powerful upgrades, plus you get Trials engrams while you are playing Trials. Well let's have a look at the Episode 1 Echoes Trials loot. So we've got the Eye of Soul, the Incisor, the Summoner, the Prophet, Shayora's Wrath, Aisha's Care, and also the Fused Aurum Armour. So win rounds, rank up at Saint 14 in the tower to get even more rewards. In addition to the regular rewards, we've also got Legacy focusing at Saint 14. This means you can get weapons and armour from past seasons, including Legacy weapons, the Pyrrhic Ascent armour, and also the Exile armour as well. Well, next up we've got the Trials of Osiris God Rolls. So first of all, we've got the Eye of Soul. That one is a Sniper. For PvE, no distractions and firing line would be good, and for PvP, moving target and snapshot sights would be a good roll. Next up, we got the Incisor. This one is a Trace Rifle. For PvE, subsistence and hatchling would be good, and for PvP, a Zen Moment and target lock, that would be a decent roll. Then we got the Summoner, the Classic Auto Rifle. For PvE, subsistence and onslaught would be good, and for PvP, heal clip and onslaught, that would be a good roll. Then we got the Prophet, this one is a Scout Rifle, for PvE, Demolitionist and Headstone would be good, and for PvP, Rapid Hit and Kill Clip would be a good one to look out for. Then we got Shayora's Wrath, this one is a Legendary Submachine Gun, for PvE, Tunnel Vision, Adrenaline Junkie, and for PvP, Dynamic Sway Reduction and Kill Clip. Then we got Aisha's Care, this one is a Pulse Rifle, for PvE, Slice and the Hatchling, and for PvP, Keep Away and Desperado would be a decent roll. Well, let me know if you're jumping into Trials this weekend, and if you are, good luck. But that is it for this guide for the Trials of Osiris this weekend. And don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. You can also like the video and share the video too. That would really, really help me out here on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you for watching that video, and today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You'll get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our community discord and also early access to content. In tier two, that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier three, that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels, but to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable and in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening and thank you once again for watching. 
and I'll see you very soon.